Hi guys, it's Janet with RemarkablyCreated.com. In today's One Take Wonder video, we are going to make this card together almost from start to finish. There's a few little things that I did, such as the die cutting or whatever, but we still need to peel them off of the paper. But we're going to make this card together. This card features the Eastern Medallion Palace elements that will be available on May 2nd, May 2nd through May 31st. So let's take a look at how we put this card together and what we're going to be working with. So I mentioned that we will be using the Eastern Palace bundle elements. In this case, the Eastern Beauty stamp set and the Eastern Medallion framelits are part of what we're going to be working with. There are two different bundles, and um, the larger bundle has both the stamp and the framelits. The smaller bundle has just that, so you're going to want to go big. Trust me, lots of great stuff happening. So then, for our paper, what we're working with is we're working with ultra smooth white and in this case I cut it lengthwise I've mentioned in a previous video I'm kind of on a lengthwise kick but this is 11 inches by four and a quarter so it's a half a sheet of whisper white just cut lengthwise we've scored and we have folded that this is a piece of designer paper from our six by six color theory pack and it is in our new berry blast and so what we're going to do here and I mean Hold on a minute, real quickly remember what size I cut that to. So two and three quarters. So we're going to cut this at two and three quarters. And then we're going to make sure that it's at five and a half because we want it to go from the top to the bottom of the card. So we've got this element here. Then the other elements that we have, I have used our stitch framelits, which are going to be a perfect marriage to cut this largest circle out of. I then used our layering circles to do a couple of different things. So let me show you what I did. So still from Whisper White here, and um, with the layering circles, the smallest of small little, and it's hidden under here somewhere, um, framelit is what I used for this little circle. Then with our Eastern medallions, what I did, so we've got our basic black cardstock. I used the one that had, oops, here we go. The one that has the little diamonds in it, so I die cut that, and we got this image here. And what happens is it doesn't completely die cut out, okay? It stays in the cardstock. This is not a cutting edge around the circle, which is great because you can make all kinds of fun little, um, little three-dimensional um, kind of texture feeling looking elements on your card just by cutting little holes like that all over it. But in order to get it to pop out, I went ahead and used a scallop circle from the layering framelits to pop that out. A little tip with you with your framelits is over time, or at least even this first run, you're going to get these little pieces stuck in it, and you're going to want to make sure that you're popping them out if you don't do that, what happens is they build up in there, and then they're on kind of the same level as the die cutting edge, and then you're not going to be able to get clean cuts, and you're going to wonder what's happening. So you're going to want to make sure that you're looking at the back of your framelit to see that everything is popping out from it. So then, with a foam mat, we want to kind of finish cleaning this up just a little bit, and there are some little dots around it. So I'm just pressing into the foam mat. I love doing this on a foam mat because the foam mat kind of just helps grab the cardstock, allows me to push kind of beyond just a flat surface, push a little bit deeper just to kind of get those little things out of there. So we've got our little circles. Then with our Berry Blast cardstock, I went ahead and die cut this flower here. So let's go ahead and let's pull that up. And again, one more time, let's come back in here and just push out the little elements from the petals. We don't want those. And here you can see that that flower also does not cut out the whole way. And I showed you in a previous video some fun note cards that really kind of take advantage of that fact there. But for this project, I do want to cut it out. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to do just simple little snips. And it's very easy to do. It doesn't... Um, take a steady hand. It doesn't take somebody who can cut in a straight line. It really is just a tiny little snip. So, oops, one more. 
and we will have freed the flower from its from its home. So we've got that happening. So now one other little thing that I need to do, and let's set that off to the side. I'm going to bring in my black cardstock again, and I want to create a stem for my flower. And it's literally going to be just like maybe an eighth of an inch. It's not wide at all. So we've got that. So now what we need to do is we need to start to put it all together. And let me get this out of our way and bring our elements back in. So we have our Whisper White cardstock that was lengthwise that we've scored and folded in half. We have our Berry Blast crackled paper from Color Theory. We have the largest stitch circle that there is. We have our Berry Blast flower, and Berry Blast is one of the new 2017-19 in colors. Um, this Berry Blast will be available June 1st, unless you sign up as a demonstrator. If you sign up as a demonstrator, you'll have access to these earlier in our pre-purchase. But for those of you that um, are customers, you will have to wait until June 1st for Berry Blast. So just a little tease of that color for you. So our elements are going to go together like this. I just kind of want to show you where we're headed. So before I start to glue everything down, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stamp our greetings. So in the center of this, I'm going to use the greeting hello. I love this little word hello. I think hello is such a neutral greeting. Hello, I'm thinking about you. Hello, I'm praying for you. Hello, it's your birthday. Hello, congratulations. So I just like the, the hello. So that's great. And I'll set that aside to clean it here in a minute. We'll go ahead and put this curved verse on. We'll close this up. I oh, almost open from before. Let's close that back up. We're going to pull our basic black ink in. And before I stamp this greeting, I'm going to do a little bit of assembly. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. And when I add this to my cardstock, I'm leaving just a little bit of a white edge, probably about a quarter of an inch, maybe a little bit smaller, over on the left-hand side. Now in this case, I'm not going to glue this down. I'm just going to position it about where I want it, and I'm going to hold on to it with my hand. And little photopolymer stamps, I've found stamp great. I don't always need my um, foam mat for it, but some of my, um, lar as they get larger, having that foam mat just kind of gives a, a great surface with a little bit of give for these greetings. And what I'm doing is I'm just stamping a note for you. And the reason why I did it before I heared every da everything down was because if I made a mistake and I needed to start over, I could simply then um, have all of my elements. And technically you could have not glued this piece down so you had that as well too if you ended up making a boo-boo. So we're going to go ahead and put a little bit of adhesive on our... Um, well, can't do that yet. Hold on. I'm going to put our circle down first. Sorry, I was going to tuck that behind. Oh my goodness gracious, hopefully it didn't stick. Okay, now our flower. And now we can stick our stem on. Snip it off. We're going to take our black center. And we're going to take our word hello and we've got a simple and clean note card could you add bows could you add bling and other things absolutely that's part of the fun of paper crafting is that you can always do more and you can always do less so two fun and simple note cards in the bundle that is available may 2nd the designer series paper from eastern palace is available including this pretty sheet with the lush um lemon lime twist on it you also have an opportunity to get a paper pack that has three different of the colors in it. It has Dapper Denim, Tranquil Tide, and Fresh Fig. You, of course, have the Eastern Medallion Framelits, 
the stamps, there's tassels, there's all kinds of good stuff in those bundles. So you're going to want to head over to RemarkablyCreative.com. You can use the little um, link right here on the video. Um, I think it's over in the left-hand corner. I have to think there for a second. It's like stage left, stage right. What side is it in? To go over to my blog to learn more. So thanks for stopping by and making this sweet note card today. I appreciate you um, taking the time to visit. Have a great day and God bless.